In this video, I'm going to talk about Etsy. There are pros and there are cons of selling your handmade goods on Etsy. If you want to sell your art online, you pretty much have to have some sort of an online platform where you can list the items and take payments and manage customer information. There are a few options. You can list your art on your own website. You can use online art galleries, and you could even do everything through your DMS and a payment app. You can even use eBay or Facebook marketplace, or you can use Etsy. I have some definite opinions and I want to hear your thoughts. So let's discuss. Welcome to the Josie show where it's artist to artist chat, where I talk about how to make art and how to sell art. I just happen to think that artists should get paid and I want to support you and your genius creativity. Before I get started, I wanted to mention that I have a resource that can help you price your art. If you are a maker or an artist that is trying to grow your business, you know that pricing can be one of the hardest things to navigate. I have a whole PDF download that will give you everything you need to know to price your work in a way that will attract your customers and create excellent profit. Now in this conversation about Etsy, I want to say right up front that the gold standard of selling your art online is to have your own website. I heartily recommend this for a few reasons. One is that you have complete control over how and when you sell. You don't have to share the revenue with anyone. You have design control so you can make your website look the way you want. And finally, it's professional and legitimizing to have your very own website to represent you and your talents. That said, building a website can be kind of a big deal. It takes a while to design. It takes some tech to get all the elements you'll need. So if you're not quite ready to build a website, is Etsy a good option in the short term? So here's what I think is great about Etsy. They've been around a while and people know what they are. They have done an incredible service to makers everywhere because they have been promoting buying handmade items from artists online. As Etsy has been promoting buying handmade, they have also been working behind the scenes with all the crazy artists and makers so that they have come up with a pretty good system to make it easier for non-techie people to figure out how to list a product and sell it. Inside the platform, they manage things like helping with shipping labels, communicating with customers, and processing payments. It's literally a one-stop shop. If you are overwhelmed with the details of product listings, taking payments, and shipping logistics, Etsy may be a great place to start. Here's what I think is not great about Etsy. Yes, Etsy has a reputation, but the reputation is more for crafts than fine art. I don't really differentiate that much. I think there's a lot of blur in those categories, and there are artists who sell on the site, but... The quality overall of Etsy is highly irregular. There aren't any gatekeepers on Etsy that curate what can or cannot be presented, which can be good, but it will also mean that shopping on the site can be maddening because of the vast and occasionally bizarre search results. If you make a more craft-based product like jewelry or ceramics, you will need to compete with a very crowded marketplace. If you are starting from absolute zero on the app, it can be very difficult these days to get organic traffic, meaning that people searching for watercolor painting will actually ever see your watercolor paintings. That means you need to get used to driving traffic to your products through social media or your email list. Just popping your art up on the platform and then waiting for the money to roll in will result in heartbreak. Etsy is hosting you, which means if you have a bad customer review or run afoul of their policies, you could be terminated from the site. They have fees just to list the products and fees when you sell, and they have other sneaky fees that change all the time. They also have rules about how quickly you ship and a million other things that you have to keep track of. I'm told that they will punish your listings in the search algorithm if you don't keep your shop stocked all the time. To sum up, I'm not wild about Etsy. I'm just not. Let's face it. The marketing is the same whether you are selling your work on Etsy, eBay, your own website, or out of the trunk of your car. Personal website builders are so user-friendly these days that I'd advise putting your energy into that first. 
That said, if you're dipping your toe in the water, Etsy could help you get the basic systems in place so that you can level up to a website in the future. I personally know people who love Etsy, make a full-time living selling products from there, and think it's the best thing for your business. Is that you? Chime in with your experience in the comments because I love to hear multiple points of view. In fact, I wanna hear from anyone who is using Etsy in their business. Let us all know your experience and opinions.